In today's video, I'm going to be reacting to your GTA Online hot takes. If you're not familiar with what a hot take is, it's essentially a controversial opinion and I asked you guys to send in your hot takes for GTA Online and let me say you guys did not disappoint. But before we do get into the video, make sure to comment your GTA Online hot takes in the comments below as well as like and subscribe because it massively helps out the channel. And without further ado, let's get into it. Our first hot take of the video is it's boring nowadays. I can absolutely see why people think this. The game's been out for over a decade now and it certainly gets to a point where once you've done everything in the game there's not too much left to do especially if your friends stop playing the game because a lot of the best times on gta online is spending them with your friends and i absolutely have had to take breaks from the game because i just get bored so i think if you are consistently playing the game i can absolutely see why you'd get bored of it after time there's only so much stuff you can do in a 10 year old game which will keep you occupied but eventually you will get to the point of boredom but i do think if you do get to that point and then you go off and start playing other video games and then come back to GTA Online, you might end up having more fun. But as with any other video game, if you're consistently playing it every single day, it's going to get to the point of burnout. So I do kind of agree with this opinion because it is an 11 year old game and there's only so much you can do after 11 years to keep it fresh and exciting. But at the same time, if you come back to the game after taking a bit of breaks and you're not playing it every single day, I think that's a better way of managing, you know, the fun. Because if you play it every single day, you're just going to get burnout. Mods and glitches make the game better. I kind of agree with the glitches part, but I wouldn't say the mods. There have been some glitches that have been a load of fun. The one that sticks out to me the most is the no ragdoll glitch. I used to just go around and stand on cars and planes and mess around with my friends and it was a ton of fun. As well as money glitches as well because that financial freedom and taking you away from the grind makes the game a lot more fun. Very few people actually enjoy the grind so getting to the point where you have all the money to spend and you can just buy whatever you want and enjoy the game is very fun. And if we're talking mods, I mean 5M is technically a mod and is extremely fun. And I can see why mod menus may be fun although I disagree with them. However, on the other side of the coin there's glitches glitches that ruin the game such as gob mode and of course mod menus can be used to you know completely fuck up other people's experiences so i am going to agree for the most part to the glitches side at least because you know no ragdoll launch glitch ton of fun but then there's also gob mode glitches as well as mod menus that just ruin the game pvp is okay in gta i completely agree a lot of people especially grinders you know they're very accepting of other people's play styles until it comes to pvp you say pvp and then they automatically assume oh griefer griefer this is not the case at all a lot of pvp players like to fight amongst themselves just for a bit of fun. When I first got GTA Online back in 2016, I spent the first few years grinding my account, but after that, I found a lot of fun in PvP, and I think PvP is the main reason I kept playing all these years later. And look, don't get me wrong, it's not everyone's cup of tea. A lot of people don't like the PvP mechanics, or it's not everyone's preferred playstyle. But that's the beauty in GTA Online. There's so many different playstyles. You can be a grinder, you can be a racer, you can be a stunter, you can be a PvPer. The list just goes on and on. It's basically a sandbox. You have the freedom to do absolutely anything you want, and that's what makes the game so fun and the pvp community just grows bigger and bigger because after all this grinding people want something to do so they just fight each other and of course if you don't want to engage in pvp at all then you know go in an invite only a lot of people get really defensive saying oh pvp is the worst thing that happened to gta online but it's more avoidable now than ever because you can just grind in a solo session so i absolutely agree as with any other play style pvp is okay in gta online the hunter is the best helicopter in the game and the rogue plane is criminally underrated i wouldn't say the hunter's the best helicopter in the game but it's absolutely up there. In terms of attack helicopter, it may very well be the best just because of how much weapons it has. Not to mention, I'm pretty sure it's the fastest helicopter in the game as well, or either that or the Sparrow, I think. As for the Rogue, I wouldn't say it's underrated. I think it's just about where it deserves to be. Personally, I'm not too much of a fan of the Rogue. I know it has a very peculiar handling style that takes a while to get used to, but even then I could name like five other planes I'd rather use in its place. The only thing going for it is that it has explosive cannons, but even then they're not the best. So I'd agree the Hunter is the best attack helicopter in the game, but I wouldn't say it's the best over overall i'd probably say that goes to a sparrow just because you can spawn it so close to you as well as how fast it is and it's unlimited missiles but i would disagree that the rogue is underrated gta christmas is better than halloween i will agree but it's interesting to see how much effort rockstar games put into the halloween mode and i definitely think it's close now personally i'm gonna always prefer christmas maybe because i'm a bit nostalgic of all the good times me and mates used to have just throwing snowballs at each other there's no other feeling like the snow coming down in gta online and you know having car meets and messing around with your mates but at the same time rockstar games put so much effort into their halloween updates that year after year they just get better and better this year for example we've had so much stuff like look at the new zombie survival mode that's been a ton of fun so although i would agree i do think it's very close let me know in the comments below if you prefer gta christmas or gta halloween gta 5 has the best story in gaming history absolutely not i know a lot of people hate the gta 5 story i'm not one of them people i personally found it you know a load of fun i had a blast playing it and some of the characters from the story have become some of the most recognized gaming characters in the world with great performances from all the voice actors 
But from my experience at least, and I think a lot of people saw this coming, the best story in gaming history would have to go to Red Dead Redemption 2, another Rockstar Games game. There's just nothing quite like it. GTA Online wouldn't be anywhere near as active without content creators. The fact Rockstar Games doesn't acknowledge us is a joke. I do believe it was TGG that said a similar thing, but I do kind of agree. GTA Online is a very stale game, receiving at most two updates a year, so there's a lot of dry spells within the game, causing a lot of players to leave the game, but despite all this, these content creators are putting out loads and loads and loads of videos that get millions of views, drawing more and more people back to GTA Online. And the two main sides of this is obviously the GTA YouTubers as well as GTA TikTokers, because a lot of people don't understand just how big the GTA TikTok scene is. And I'm not really going to talk about the 5M aspect of things, but there's loads of 5M streamers that keep GTA fresh as well. But would GTA Online be dead without content creators? I don't know. It's one of the best selling games of all time, so naturally it's going to have a lot of players, but I do think there's times it wouldn't get talked about if it wasn't for the content creators. And I do absolutely agree Rockstar should start acknowledging some of their creators. And now actually more I think about it, the people live streaming the game are bringing more and more people into open lobbies and hosting car meets and stuff. So it is definitely keeping the uh, community active. So now that I think about it, I do agree with this take. The apartment heists are mid. Strong disagree. From a technical standpoint, I can understand where you're coming from. Obviously, you have to do all of the setups and you have to have a full four players, but they're really fun. <laughs> like these are some of the most fun heists in the game. I think the only one that's actually bad is the Series A funding heist. So I am going to disagree. Car scene is one of the reasons the game is still alive, in my opinion. Now, this goes back to the GTA content creator take as well. I definitely think, you know, the car scene being as big as it is, is keeping the game alive, but I don't think the game would be dead without it. But it is just another thing. I don't think people understand how big the car scene is as well. Like loads of people will hop on just to get cars, deck them out and go to meets like they're playing Forza or something. And all you have to do is look through the Xbox looking for group posts and you will see loads and loads of car meets. So I definitely agree the car scene is one of the reasons why the community is as healthy as it is. The Torador is better than the Oppressor Mark II. As much as I love the Torador and personally prefer it over the Mark II, I am going to disagree. And I do remember when the Torador first came out, it was insanely good for taking out Mark IIs. But being able to spawn the Mark II instantly right next to you and literally fly anywhere on the map is extremely helpful. So I am going to have to say the Mark II is better as much as I love the Torador. RC vehicles are worse than the Mark II ever was. I'm going to disagree. The RC vehicles have always had a cooldown, whereas the Mark II had a period of time, a very long period of time, where you could just instantly spawn them back to back to back, making it a huge problem. So it's not even like you could spam the RC vehicles, but they're also fairly easy to take out and avoid. You can literally get into an NPC car and get away from them because they're pretty slow. So I am going to have to disagree. It's pay to win. Again, disagree. Of course, you can buy shark cards and, you know, get yourself set up pretty early on, but it's also very easy now more than ever to get lots of money very quickly. And there's nothing that's paid only that you can't get for free. At least nothing in an advantage standpoint. F1s on any build are not clean. I do agree. I strongly dislike F1s, but I do think they look cool on stuff like the Night Shark, but I definitely don't think they look clean. And finally, 5M should be RP only. None of that car stunts. Strong disagree here because I play a lot of 5M, but I've never once played RP. And that's because there's so many servers that aren't RP that are a ton of fun. The one that I play the most is RSM. It's essentially GTA free mode, but you can spawn anything you want. You can change the weather. You have modded stuff. And I have countless hours on this just having a load of fun. So I definitely don't think that 5M should be RP only. And I don't know why you'd want it to be RP only. It's great that there's a choice. But anyways, guys, that was reacting to your GTA Online hot takes. If you want to see a part two to this video, then make sure to like the video as well as comment your GTA Online hot takes in the comments below. Or if you just generally have any other video ideas, make sure to comment them down below. And of course, make sure to subscribe to help the channel out. But that being said, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.